the room at Nibiru isn't just a hypercar, it's a sonic boom on wheels, a machine that blurs the lines between reality and science fiction. With 1,900 horsepower erupting from its electric heart, it rockets from 0 to 60 and a brain melting 1.81 seconds, and it can go on to a blistering top speed of 258 miles per hour. This car shattered 23 records, redefined expectations, and cemented Rumac's place at the forefront of automotive innovation. But beneath the sleek body and blistering performance, the Croatian company is already plotting its next evolution, a leap that could rewrite the hypercar rulebook once again. This time, however, the focus isn't just on speed, but on the very fuel that propels it. Yes, you heard me correctly, fuel. Rimac is looking at replacing the heavy batteries in the Nevera with a fuel alternative, and the specific fuel we are talking about is hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, and a potential paradigm shift for the world of high-performance electric vehicles. So why the shift? While batteries have powered Rimac's meteoric rise, their limitations are becoming increasingly apparent. Range anxiety can dampen even the most thrilling journey. Charging times can feel like an eternity. And then there's the environmental footprint of battery production and disposal. A challenge no industry can ignore. If you would like to know more on this, I've made many, many videos talking about the negatives of EVs that most seem to overlook. Anyways, back to the video. Hydrogen, however, offers a tantalizing solution. It's clean, abundant, and when used in a fuel cell, produces only water vapor as a byproduct. Filling a hydrogen tank takes minutes, not hours, and the potential range can outstrip even the most efficient battery-powered vehicles. Imagine a Rimac hypercar devouring the Autobahn, its 1000 plus horsepower fueled by nothing but water. It's an image that sends shivers down the spines of both petrol aids and environmentalists alike. But the benefits go beyond just performance and sustainability. Hydrogen fuel cells are lighter than batteries, offering the potential for lighter, more agile vehicles. They're also less susceptible to extreme temperatures, a crucial factor for a car designed to push the boundaries of speed and performance. Of course, this endeavor by Rimac to make a hydrogen-powered hypercar isn't without its challenges. The current infrastructure for hydrogen refueling is limited, and the technology itself is still in its early stages of development. But for Rimac, these are not insurmountable obstacles, but rather an opportunity to pioneer a new era of sustainable speed. The company has already partnered with Bosch and AVL, giants in the field, to develop hydrogen fuel cell technology specifically for high-performance applications. Their goal is to create a system that, that delivers the power and responsiveness expected from a Rimac while offering the environmental benefits of hydrogen. By the way, AVL, the company Rimac is partnering with, has developed their own hydrogen system, but this is even cooler, in my opinion. They built a 400 horsepower, four-cylinder turbo engine that runs on clean hydrogen. It still makes all the cool noises of a combustion engine, but running on a cleaner fuel. If you would like to know more on that engine, you can go and watch the video after this one. Anyways, back to Rimac. Now many might wonder why Rimac would alter a working formula. I mean, they built the fastest accelerating road car on the planet. The answer? Well, they like to be challenged, to push boundaries, and to revolutionize the motoring industry. With their sights set on hydrogen, they are poised to do just that once again. So, while the Nivera may hold the current crown, it might just be a warm-up act for what's to come. The future of automotive performance is hurling towards us, fueled not by electrons, but by the very elements that make up our universe. And Rimac, with its unbridled ambition and relentless innovation, is leading the charge. At the end of the video, please let me know what you think of this path Rimac is taking. I think it's really cool. Um, I like any hydrogen development because I, I would like it to be possible to keep the combustion engine al alive. Now, I know this, they are developing fuel cells. But if there is an infrastructure for fuel cells, then you can still feel combustion engines that run on hydrogen and there are already companies working on hydrogen internal combustion engines such as Toyota and AVL. Now if they, let's say Toyota produces a Yaris powered by a hydrogen internal combustion engine, if there's no infrastructure the car won't do well. But if bigger companies building fuel cells help to develop an infrastructure, these cars that I really like would actually be able to be used and driven. So yeah, I'm like pro this.
But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit like and support the channel. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.